neighborhood community shout outs. Okay, we got a lot of new subscribers, so let's get started. AM Gaming, welcome to the neighborhood. And they got a channel, so go by and check out their channel. Katie Caroline, we need continued prayers for her uncle who is still undergoing chemotherapy. So everybody please continue to keep her uncle in your thoughts and prayers. And we just found out today that he had his cancer surgery here in North Carolina at the same hospital my dad had his surgery. So pretty small world, isn't it? Ocean James, welcome to the neighborhood. And he has a channel also. Go by and check that out. Don, Dan Otix. Dan Otix. Welcome to the neighborhood. He has a channel. Go by and check it out. Go Dogs Full One. Welcome to the neighborhood. And he's got a gaming channel. Go check that out. Dilo Flow Rat. Welcome to the neighborhood. Bernie Flax. Welcome to the neighborhood. Natural 360. Welcome to the neighborhood. And she's got a channel. Go check her out. Hello to my best friend out there, Bethany. Hello, Tamasha Stewart. Narsha Khan, I think I said that right. Welcome to the neighborhood. Cole Today, welcome back girl. Glad you got your computer working again. We sure missed you. Tracy Quick, welcome back. Glad you're feeling back to your old self again. We sure missed you. Okay, we need another thoughts and prayers for just Joey. His mother was in the hospital. Um, she was having some pretty serious stomach issues. Um, they did some tests on her today. They sent her home waiting for some test results to come back to find out what is going on. But we need to keep her in our thoughts and prayers that it's nothing really serious. So everybody, thoughts and prayers for just Joey, his mother, and their entire family. One Proud Mama, remember the other day I told you that Haley broke her ankle in school and the teacher made her walk on it because she said it was just a sprain? Well, she has a cast all the way up her leg, a full leg cast. So everybody please keep Haley in your thoughts and prayers. Okay, last week's, last week's question was, what would you leave in your will to the person you love the most. What is your most valuable object you would leave? Angie Lupus Life would leave her Chihuahua Lucy to her caregiver, Jay, because he loves her so very much. I love her too, so if Jay disappears, you can leave her to me. Tanya Longley, she doesn't have much, but she would leave it all to her parents to pay for her cremation, but she would leave me a dream catcher that she made because it's special and she knows that I would love it. And she's right, I would. Terry Johnson, she would leave everything to her husband, Bill, and he could give away or sell her Barbie doll collection. The Abyss 92882 said he would leave everything to his future kids and his grandkids. Susie here would leave all her musical instruments to her nieces, that's very sweet, and her car to her best girlfriend, Sabrina. That's very nice. Margaret Clevenger, she would split up her Indian collection amongst her four children. That's got to be a big collection. And Bella Luna bought a real Gucci bag with real diamonds for $5 at a yard sale for, that is worth $25,000. And she would leave that to her wonderful granddaughter. That would be an awesome thing. I would leave my polar bear collection to... Hmm. 
Hmm. I would leave everything to Kevin because he's the most important person in my life next to Megan. Oh, okay. That's big. My, and my niece Crystal is like, oh, okay. Well, sorry, Crystal, but yes, my husband's more important. And then my daughter. And then maybe you. No, I shouldn't be. <laughs> okay. And I don't know what Kevin would leave, so you guys would have to ask him what his answer would be. So, my question for this week would be, if you could have any job in the world, what would it be? And why? So, it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. I don't have Kevin to poke, so take it away, Kevin! I would leave Val all the bills, because that's all we have left. I've sold everything else to value. <laughs> okay, so, last week, I asked a question about the 1990 movie Misery, Stephen King story, starring James Caan and Kathy Bates. And the question is, what is this movie based on? And it is actually based on his own battle with drug addiction. So uh, that's what that's about. And those who got it right was Terry Johnson, The Abyss 92882, and Tanya Longley. And Tracy, this is the last page in this beautiful pink book you gave me. Okay, so this week's question is a little tougher than they usually are. Um, only five horror films have ever been nominated for an Academy Award. One of them was act actually won the Academy Award. What are those five movies? There's your question. I'll see you tomorrow. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all so very much. Thumbs up, go by and check out all our other stuff, and we will see you next week. Bye.